We want to estimate the maximum possible error using both trapezoidal and Simpson's rule with some ten subdivisions for the definite integral from zero to five of this polynomial. We'll start with the trapezoidal rule. In the trapezoidal rule, it's, um, the formula we are given tells us that the error for trapezoidal rule with n subdivisions is always less than or equal to k2 times b minus a cubed over 12n squared, where this k2 is some constant that is always, uh, that is always greater than the m absolute value of the second derivative on the interval a to b. And so we need to take a look at the second derivative of our function here. So let's start with our first derivative. First derivative is negative 4x cubed plus 24x squared plus 12x. Uh, second derivative then will be uh, negative 12x squared plus 48x plus 12. And we'll notice that this is a quadratic, and quadratics, uh, well, downwards opening quadratic, so its maximum is going to occur either at the beginning of the end interval, the end of the interval, or at the vertex. And to find where the vertex is, we can either, uh, well, let's go ahead and just take the third derivative. So this is the next derivative, right? And if we take that derivative and set it equal to zero, right, we can solve that, and we know that the critical value, critical number, uh, is two. So if we evaluate our second derivative now at th the start of the interval, at the critical value, and at five, we can, and I went ahead and computed this using my calculator, uh, we can see that in absolute value, the maximum value of the second derivative is 60, and so that's the value we're going to pick for k2. Okay, so now we know that the error uh, is always going to be less than or equal to uh, k2, which was 60, times b minus a, that's endpoint minus starting point, so 0 minus, sorry, 5 minus 0 cubed, over 12 times n squared here, my n is 10, so times 10 squared, and now we just calculate that, and we get about, we get 6.25, so we know that our error the actual error is going to be less than or equal to 6.25 on that interval. Okay, now let's try Simpson's rule. So the formula for Simpson's rule is very similar. Uh, we have uh, the error is less than k4, b minus a to the fifth over 180 n to the fourth, where k4 is similar to the last one, uh, except it's greater than the fourth derivative uh, on the interval. So we'd already calculated uh, from the last work, we had calculated that the third derivative was negative 24x uh, plus 48. And so if we calculate the fourth derivative now, the fourth derivative is just a constant negative 24. Uh, and so we know that k4 here, again, is the absolute value of the fourth derivative is just going to be 24 here. That's the biggest that the fourth derivative ever is. So the sim error for Simpson's rule then is going to be less than or equal to 24 times 5 minus 0 to the fifth over 180 times 10 to the fourth, which when we calculate it out comes out to about 0 0.041 and then 6 is repeating. And so you'll notice that the Simpson's rule is giving us a much more accurate uh, estimate here, and a lot of that comes from that fourth power on n. Uh, the error gets smaller much faster here as the n starts increasing.